హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు హొన్నారేజ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ లైఫ్ స్టైల్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బీ షోయింగ్ యూ అ వెరీ 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 సింపుల్ రిచువల్ yet a very very auspicious one and something which has to be followed in each and every house and it has been followed strictly for any of the griha praveshams that is house warming ceremony so in this video i will be telling you which are the items that are called as panchakanyas and why is that we need to worship them and where should we worship them and how should we keep all of these items and these items are not just called as panchakanyas they are also called as gauri set in telugu i'll be giving you more information about this in the later part of the video so just in case if you also want to learn this beautiful ritual yet a very easy one to be followed at your home then don't miss to watch this video till the end namah shivabhyam navayovanabhyam పరస్పరాశ్లిష్టవపూర్ధరాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ్యాభ
so that is why uh, the base of annapurneshwari is uh, fitting exactly to the size of my um, sero okay but what you should be doing is just buy a little bit of broader uh, sero or otherwise take a smaller annapurneshwari this annapurneshwari doesn't belong to me i had actually taken it uh, for making video for sales and all so that is why there is a mismatch in the sizes so just take a take a very small size of annapurneshwari and that should do more than enough you don't really have to do any alankaram because you are going to keep it in the kitchen and kitchen is a place where there is going to be a lot of heat and um, you know humidity and also there will be a lot of oil oil uh, vapors and all coming out so it is better not to do any alankaram uh, you know for annapurneshwari when you are keeping in the kitchen unless your stove is really really far from the place where you are keeping annapurneshwari okay so now after placing this then you will have to do the puja for the sero as well as annapurneshwari namah shivabhyam navayovanabhyam अन्नपूर्णेश्वरी and the next thing you will have to do after uh, worshiping annapurneshwari is to worship these items so these items in case if you have got the real size items the life size items then more than uh, good because these are going to be very heavy i don't know whether you know about this okay there will be many youngsters who may not have uh, seen this in the cities and all so this is something which we used to use in olden days and it comes really big okay it's like very big bigger than us and really heavy ones uh, which you will find in the villages so this is nothing but the stone grinder so in the olden days they used to actually if you had to make a powder for something like right like ragi uh, or you wanted to make a ragi powder or a rice powder and all they used to put uh, rice and ragi over here and they used to turn it like this okay and these kind of things are going to be so huge that uh, you are going to need a lot of place to keep in your house and all of these items that i'm showing over here this is supposed to be a avatar of goddess lakshmi and you know many people believe that we should always keep these items in our house irrespective of whether we use it or not in fact my mother has got something like this but not in this style it's in the karnatakan style she has got the grinding stone where we actually make chutney and all and it is believed that if you make chutney from that then it is going to be super yummy rather than using your uh, uh, you know the electric uh, mixer and all if you make it using these kind of things no it's going to be very very tasty okay so my mom has got something like that it doesn't matter to which house she goes she usually takes it and it's a life size that she has but we worship it but we don't use it okay so that is how you also can do it just in case you don't have enough place to keep all these things then you do get these miniature items which are available over here this is available on amazon i purchased it for some 750 rupees or something you do get very good quality in these okay you do get this in big size okay you do get this in a much better quality also in case if you want to buy so there are actually five things which are believed to be panchakanyas so there is another concept for panchakanya where they have actually given the name of five women including draupadi and all that's a whole different concept okay but what i'm trying to tell you now is these wooden things or these kitchen tools are also called as panchakanyas in karnataka and that is this is this is the ritual that we actually believe and this ritual is actually followed during housewarming ceremony also in fact i was being guided by the priest that the very first items which should go inside the house 
when you are uh, going to step inside your new house for doing the house warming ceremony are these okay and these panchakanyas are called like this the first one is onake okay which is nothing but a heavy wooden club used to pound substances in a mortar it is also called as a pestle in english so you can kind of imagine it to be something like this but ideally this this one is supposed to be of wood and it is really big okay it is something like this big and very tall they actually put paddy and all inside and they start beating it like this okay and that is what is called as vanake and vanake is something which we actually worship even during marriage okay whenever a bride and a bridegroom are going to get married usually in our custom in the night we are usually going to have this puja so and uh, this uh, ritual where we actually uh, take the paddy and we do like this and then we perform a particular puja ritual for it and all so this is considered as one of the panchakanyas panchakanya is a group of five uh, divine women okay and there is also story associated with this onake the original onake is something which looks like this in karnataka there was a woman who was called as onake obava and this particular woman single handedly fought against hyderali soldiers in the kingdom of chitradurga of karnataka i will be telling you a story of onake obava some other time but if you just google on onake obava you are going to get beautiful movies beautiful songs related to onake obava where they show on how she fought against hyderali soldiers as a single woman and all she had was this particular onake to kill them okay she didn't have anything in hand and it happened while her husband was having lunch at home so she couldn't even call her husband who was supposed to alert the soldiers in her kingdom so that the enemy soldiers have entered and they have to fight so that is when this particular incident happened and in the state of karnataka she is celebrated along with abbakka rani keladi chennamma and kittur chennamma as one of the foremost women warriors and patriots so that was a story about onake okay the next one is something called as mantu so mantu is nothing but the wooden beater which is used to make buttermilk or lassi and i hope everyone would have seen this okay initially in the olden days and even today in my mother's house and even sometimes in my house we occasionally use this rather than the electric uh, beater okay the next one is mudde ittu kolu okay mudde ittu is nothing but the ragi ball i think many of you would be knowing that in south india we all love eating ragi balls right so when you are going to make that ragi ball that mixture after it is mixed with water it becomes really hard and you cannot use a spatula to mix it to make sure that it uh, cooks evenly so for that what we do is we actually use a wooden stick okay to turn that uh, ragi paste while it is cooking and it has to be really thick and that is what we call it as ittina kolu okay and that is also considered as one among panchakanyas and the last one is something called as kavgolu okay again this kavgolu is related to ragi balls only so while cooking the ragi ball because that paste is going to be so thick and so hard that you know when we are actually trying to mix it with that wooden stick the actual vessel starts moving from here to there so it is not possible to hold that vessel in place and it will be super hot so for that reason we actually use a y shaped wooden stick to hold that particular vessel in place while cooking the ragi balls and while we are turning that uh, you know that ragi paste to make a ball and all so even this kavgolu is something which is very very auspicious and it is called as one among the panchakanyas so ideally we are not going to get all of these things in miniature sizes i do have this uh, ittu kolu and kavgolu in my house but that is not something that we actually keep for worship because it's going to be really big and all so for that reason you can actually buy these uh, you know set of five uh, uh, miniature stone items and you can worship these also in this particular ritual so again the same way in which you have worshiped annapurneshwari use vibhuti then sandalwood paste kumkum and turmeric and keep a flower that is it namah shivabhyam navayovanabhyam parasparashlishtavapurtharabhyam nagendra kanya vrishaketanabhyam नमो नमः शंकर पार्वती 
Now let me tell you the reason why you need to actually perform this particular ritual. It is because performing this ritual is going to grant you with dhana and dhanya that is wealth and food at all times and it is also going to give you sukha and shanti. Sukha is nothing but happiness and prosperity and shanti is peace of mind and it is also going to grant you arogya which is nothing but good health in the house and aishwarya. And this particular seru is something which is actually a swaroop of goddess Lakshmi. Okay, so all of these items that you are seeing over here, it represents goddess Lakshmi and as well as goddess Annapurneshwari. So by doing all this puja, you are going to ensure that you worship both of them and you are going to get their blessings. So this completes today's video and I hope you all have liked today's video. And in case if you want me to make more videos like this on the rituals, then don't forget to leave a comment and I will get back to you. So I hope you all have liked this video. If so, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get automatic notifications every time I release a new video. Thank you.